Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about how to use um, Adobe Camera Raw and to shoot raw and to edit in raw. Uh, I'm going to do a tutorial and show you guys pretty much everything you could want to know how to use it. Um, if you don't shoot raw, I would suggest that you do, um, especially if you're doing uh, photography work like weddings and stuff like that because it just has so much more... Um, data to it that JPEGs clip out and it lets you go back and edit photos that you otherwise might not have been able to save where bad photos can turn out good and it just your whole editing workflow will it'll save you time and you'll end it up with better images that you have more control over more high quality and then what I usually do at the end is then you can out pet, uh, JPEGs after you have all your photos edited how you want so after you shoot a bunch of raw images, you can, uh, I use Adobe Bridge to edit them all, usually on a double screen setup, so I have Bridge on one side, Photoshop on the other. I think that's what works the best, but you pick your image and open, and it will bring you into Camera Raw, <coughs> and it will bring you in here, and then you have all your settings. You have your zoom tool your hand tool this is a white balance tool you can use it and select points around in the image of where where white balance should be and it will adjust the picture white balance automatically it's a really handy tool um, the color sampler tool so if you need to pick up certain colors you have this is a target adjustment tool where you can select points and then if you just want to like try and adjust just like that part you can pick your hues and saturations and luminance and then you can just click and drag and it will, will, will adjust that part it's pretty handy you got your crop tool oops I just adjusted it with that I don't want to use glass undo for the target adjustment but you can see by clicking on the spots click and drag and it will like if you want the whites to be uh, whiter or darker or whatever you can click and adjust just like that and do just specific zones so if you want the blacks to be blacker you click up here and drag up and down and then you can make the blacks just blacker it's just another way to edit undo you got your crop tool you got your straighten tool let's say your pictures on like a rotated it's rotated a little bit or it's not perfectly level along the line here you just take your straighten tool go like that enter and it will straighten your image out like that automatically it's pretty handy um, you got your spot removal tool, just your basic. You select a spot and you want to um, remove it. Like he's got a little thing on his jacket here. We can use a spot removal. Select your spot. Select your the green one is your sample spot. The red is your your main. And then you select your thing, and it will just cover it up. You can do that in uh, raw, so you don't have to do it as uh, JPEGs. Or I'm sorry. Not JPEGs, but inside Photoshop, you can get some pre process work done. Then you got red eye removal tool. This just lets you draw over people's eyeballs and it'll remove the red eye. Your adjustment brush. Um, this is pretty handy. What you can do is you can, if you want to paint over certain portions of the image and you want to like just this part be like super saturated or unsaturated sharper darker um what i use it quite a bit is on like if the dress you have everything else perfect but the dress is still a little light you can go on there like that and it will darken it up and then you have a, a separate um exposure zone that you can set up like that pretty handy you got your gradient tool this is pretty handy too where it lets you come in with gradients like that and you can if the bottom is too bright or dark or something like that you can make it come in darker from the top or if you switch that around then you can make the bottom darker to even out like uneven lighting and stuff like that you can put color filters on it to uh, add effects like that so that pretty much explains all the tools you got your settings here and then you can all right and then we will go here to the over here these are a whole bunch of other options too that you can use they're pretty helpful you got your histogram up here so you can keep track of your lights and darks right here the basic editing this lets you go through and you can do all your 
uh, white balances. They got presets there. You can use as shot. You can adjust your temperature and tint manually. Um, you can adjust your exposure, recovery. This is like if your highlights are too bright, you can go through and um, adjust that up and regain some of that stuff lost in the whites, the detail that you might have from an overexposed image. It's really helpful. Um, I mean, when you shoot with JPEG, you lose all that data. It just clips it out and there's no save in it. When you shoot with Camera Raw, you can come back in and bring back that lost data. Even if it looks blown out in the image, you can still save it. You can uh, adjust your blacks, brightness, contrast, clarity, vibrance, and saturation all from your image right here. You can adjust your tone curves. You got your point. You can do con you can do contrast. They got some presets in here. You can do your parametric uh, stuff if you just want to do just lights and darks. Uh, this is kind of the same. If you use the spot adjustment tool or the target adjustment tool, it'll like adjust these here too for you. Um, sharpening this will come in and let you uh, adjust how much sharpening and details and stuff like that and then you can do luminance noise reduction which is like um, camera noise that you'll have from like high ISOs you can come in and reduce that and adjust your stuff but to really get the effect of this you have to be zoomed in a uh, hundred percent to see like what kind of effect it's gonna have if you're zoomed out you're not gonna be able to tell that it's doing anything so you got to be like hundred percent zoom which, so you can see what it's doing. Um, you can go through and adjust all your uh, saturation and hues and stuff. It's kind of nice, like if you pump up the vibrance, but then like their skin looks too orange. Well, you can tone down just the oranges, so it won't be so orangey in that effect. So you can go through and kind of tweak your colors like that. Or you got blue sky, but you really want to make your sky more blue, then you can bump that up. Uh, this will do split toning, so you can like separate the tones of your images into like two colors if you want. It's pretty neat. You can do some cool effects with that. Uh, lens correction. This is new on uh, Camera Raw 6.5. <coughs> Sorry, they added all the um, the lens, the lens uh, effects like for distortion and stuff, in. so you can do all that lens correction, and you can add uh, your vignetting and stuff like that to to your images. If you want to make the sides darker to make people more focused on the center, you can do all your vignetting and stuff like that here. You can even pick um, uh, if you automatically know what camera lens that you had, you can go through and pick it up, and it'll, it'll pretty much auto detect anyways. You don't even have to know, and it will auto correct the image for you based based on the lens that you had on your camera in, in the in the data. It'll pick it up, and you can see how it removes some of the lens. Lens barrel distortion from the 2470 I was using, or you can do it manually and you can, uh, you know, rotate your images like that, and it'll then it'll save it. Um, in the effects, you can add some film grain and you can do uh, post crop vignetting. So if you crop your image and then you want to vignette off that, you can do that. You can uh, all your <coughs> you can set up your camera individually to do your specific things. Your camera calibration for your camera, you can set that all up here. And you can save all your presets and snapshots, which I don't really use. So that's your basic camera uh, editing. You These are all the functions and little controls that you have. I almost for uh, you can go down here and you can set up your uh, color space. I always use sRGB. You can use your depth. Um, you can set up your resolution predetermined if you already know what you want, sharpening and stuff like that. And then you can set up if you want it to open as smart objects. Hit done. If you click done down here, it will finish you and bring you back to bridge. If you hit cancel, it will go and not save any effects. Or if you hit open image, then it will open this image into Photoshop for further editing. So hit done. It should bring you back to uh, bridge. So we're back at bridge. And you can go back to your photo, open it again, and it'll bring it back in Camera Raw, and it will still have um, all the settings remembered. Because what it doesn't add, edit the actual file. Like if you open a JPEG and you change it and you save it, you can't go back. But with Raw, you can go back and readjust all this stuff as many times as you want, and there won't be any image quality loss. So it's really high quality for that, and you can go back and keep editing your pictures and saving them and go back and change them. As many times as you want, and you're not going to lose the quality. Because I can turn the default. See, that's what it's like with zero editing at all. And then 
Ooh, there it is with all, all the little sliders and everything it had adjusted back so that's pretty sweet and raw is really powerful so I suggest if you don't shoot with it you start shooting with it because it's very very helpful and it's gonna shave you time I got so many more tricks to show you guys on how to use everything I'm gonna go in depth in detail into all the little settings and stuff like that and show you how to just make your pictures uh, really cool really vibrant and how to use raw and save time doing it all right, thank you for watching. Bye.